We have been designing networks for, at least since I've been around, the last 20 plus years because of one, one challenge. And that challenge was one of scarcity of bandwidth. And so we now have unleashed and gotten rid of that scarcity of bandwidth problem. So you can now actually architect your network in completely new ways. You know, Jonathan, I, I talk to customers uh, all around the world and you know, clearly they're excited about all this new technology and 5G, Wi-Fi 6, IoT, cloud enabled, but it's just, it's just such a tremendous challenge for them, right? We certainly are seeing dramatic uh, transformation required by our service provider customers because the economics themselves are, are changing. And so we have to really rethink the building blocks of how you build infrastructure. You need to rethink the software, the security, the systems, the optics themselves, and then of course the silicon. All of those things have to come together to help change the economics of how you build infrastructure, of the internet itself. We have rethought the fundamentals of the most important building block of the router, the silicon itself. And what we've been able to do is have a completely clean slate and building an entirely new architecture at the silicon level. Wow. Now, this is a brand new architecture both from a memory perspective, uh, as well as from an actual internal perspective of how the silicon is built. So let's move on to a, another layer of the architecture, which is the optics, right? And you think about the introduction of, you know, 400 gig uh, cost and power efficient pluggable optics is absolutely key. So what is Cisco doing in, in that realm? Optics has become a bigger and bigger and bigger portion of actually moving traffic around the internet itself. Cisco has been investing for a really long time in driving the optics industry forward. This is critical intellectual property, not only for ourselves, but also to help our customers transform the economics of how traffic is moving from point A to point B. And it's something I'm personally very excited about. Let's talk a little bit about software. What are we doing uh, on the, uh, the XR software to also enable this kind of scale? We actually have gone through a process of leaning out the OS, uh, pulling out functions that are no longer required. One of the big challenges that we hear from our customers is the fact that it takes a long time for them to consume this innovation because they have to go through a whole set of tests on integration before they're able to put this into their critical infrastructure. We have this new cloud service, which enables them to go and build their own test plans uh, and run them in the cloud, which can more rapidly enable them to consume this innovation. So Jonathan, this is great. You took all the innovations you just mentioned on silicon, optics, and the operating system, and you built the new 8000 series router. This is a, an entirely new class of networking devices. Uh, this is on a petabit scale that includes trust and also is cloud enhanced. Our single 1RU form factor device actually has the same capacity that just five years ago took up an entire rack and 15 times the power. Not only that, but our chassis based platforms, they're built for 400 gig market leadership, but they're also future proofed so that you'll be able to have 800 gig and 1.6 terabyte interfaces as well when that time comes. We helped build the internet many, many decades ago, and the internet spawned the cloud, and now we're utilizing the cloud to actually make the internet better. Mm. And we're doing that by using advanced analytics to let you know that you can actually enhance the router itself to make sure that it stays up, and therefore the network stays up. And if the network stays up more, that means your customers are inherently happier. So Jonathan, you said uh, we need to redefine the economics of the internet with radical innovation. This gives the service providers what they need to build a new foundation of enabling cloud, new cloud-based services, new IoT services, to accelerate 5G into the marketplace. You know, the best part of this whole thing, this is just the beginning.